Kansas City Super Bowl parade shooting turning celebration into crime scene changes everything. We really can't have nice things. That's become clear. You're not going to see a Second Amendment debate here. I'll leave those cheery arguments for the op-ed page. Here's all I know. When violence invades the sports section, I take it personally. And if you are a sports fan, you should, too. If you are a sports fan, and you're of certain age, some of the most glorious moments of your life haven't taken place at actual sporting events. Even if you were fortunate enough to have a ticket for a game when a team you care about won a championship. No. Better than that has been the communal gathering a few days later, the parades that makes them all official. In New York, that has for most champions since 1969 meant a trip up the Canyon of Heroes, the northward path from Battery Park to City Hall Park. If you lived and died with the 69 Mets, chances are you wound up there. Same with any of seven championships the Yankees have won since 1977. On June 17, 1994, on a brilliant day bursting with sun and good cheer, the Rangers celebrated their first cup win in 54 years with, it seemed, every living New Yorker who ever rooted for the team. And February 7, 2012, the Giants kicked off a two-state, two-site celebration of their win in Super Bowl 46 by making that time-honored trip. That was just 12 years ago. But by the standards of the way our world has changed, it took place in another time, another era, another solar system. It's not that we were invulnerable to the evils of the world, for goodness sake, there is no greater reminder of the dark hearts that occupy some people's hearts than the whole of, and lasting hole in, Lower Manhattan, we've just never had the kind of incident like they had in Kansas City this week. Maybe we were just lucky. Or maybe even 12 years ago the world was a different place. After all, as awful as Wednesday's mass shooting in Kansas City was, it was the third such parade this year that was marred by gunfire. In Denver in June, 10 people were wounded by gunshots as Nuggets fans gathered to celebrate their team's first NBA championship. And in November two people were arrested, though nobody was hurt, when a shot was fired in the air over a parking lot argument as Rangers fans were celebrating Texas's first World Series championship. Inevitably, this is going to have legs. Kansas City is still planning on having its St. Patrick's Day Parade. But a common narrative in the days since Wednesday's horror has been the public question of whether going forward any city can risk the potential hazards of asking so many people to gather on such short notice in such a contained space. They have to think twice about having these parades, former Boston Police Commissioner Bill Evans told the Associated Press. When you have that many people hanging around in one place, nothing good's going to happen. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas, the city has hosted three Super Bowl parades and one World Series celebration since 2015, also hinted things might have to change. If we're blessed enough to win a Super Bowl again, do we do this again? Or do we all just say, go to Arrowhead Stadium, walk through metal detectors, have a very secured, Vastly smaller event, he told local TV station KMBC. You want to say, that won't happen here, that can't happen here, but that's only because it never has happened here. And the sad truth, as we were reminded in Kansas City this week, it doesn't matter how perfect your record in this matter is, and KC also had mass celebrations for the Chiefs in 1970 and for the Royals in 1985, this is no rookie frontier sports town, all it takes is one time. And that changes things. We've been hungry for another championship around here for years now, 
And one of the big reasons why is that we have the best place in the world to appropriately celebrate such things. After all, the canyon hasn't just faded sports champions, it's also welcomed Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart, Dwight Eisenhower and Winston Churchill, John Glenn and Neil Armstrong, and so many others. It's been too long since we gathered there. Can we ever do it again? Wax wax.